Huge phones are dope. There's no arguing there. But does a company like Palm have what it takes to compete in the phone market with a phone that fits in that little pocket of your jeans that nobody knows what's for? Well, let's check it out together. Let's break down some first impression pros and cons and see what this mini companion phone or even standalone replacement has to offer. Hey everybody, my name's Tom and welcome to the channel. Here we like to talk about all things tech. So if you're a nerd and you can get on board with that, be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's jump into it. This unit was actually provided by Palm after I expressed some interest in them, their mission and their products. I think minimalistic phones are super cool. I think as a concept, they definitely have a place in the phone world and realm. For somebody like myself who's connected 24 seven, I think something like a companion phone could be a very good fit. This particular Palm phone seems to be a smaller version of all the black mirrors that we carry around on a daily basis. It is kind of nice to see a company put some care into their their product box. Uh, it's nice to have a company that while you open it, it feels like there was thought behind it. It's, it's on par with an iPhone box or even like a Samsung box. It's kind of nice. Why does this always happen? Cool. So inside the box right on top is our Palm phone. And it's so, it is so funny, man. You know that the phone is going to be small, but when you first see it, it it's <laughs> it's so tiny. A little bit of comparison. This is an uh, this is an iPhone six plus, and this is the Palm phone. It's it's so cute. It looks so much like an iPhone. If it wasn't branded Palm, I think you could easily fool people that this was like iBaby, the iPhone baby. <laughs> The newest phone for your child. It's great. Okay, I want to set this off to the side for a second and open the rest of the box though. There we have a Palm user's guide, Palm paperwork and quick start guide. This is a SIM card tool. We have a power brick and a USB-C charging cable. So I want to take a better look at this phone and, oh, there we go, beautiful. It always feels so good. That's what she said. Ha. So while the front really does look like an iPhone, the back also has some pretty stunning features that might look familiar too, like a vertical camera and a black glass back. It's very sleek, has a nice aluminum outer casing. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this, but the antennas for the Palm are located on the top. You can see these two antenna bands. It's not a terrible placement. There also appears to be two antenna bands on the bottom. The rear-facing camera has a flash, speaker, microphone, and obviously when we go to the back, it's branded Palm. This is a really cute little phone. I like it. I like it quite a bit. This phone is literally only two inches wide and just under four inches long. It's comparable with thickness being 0.3 inches thick, almost on par with how thick an iPhone 6 would be, or I'm assuming any iPhone at this point. I don't believe they got thicker. The display itself is 3.3 inches and is a 720 HD display with 445 PPI pixel density. So it's actually not a terrible screen. You can see right here, it says powered by Android, and that's because this phone actually runs an Android operating system. No watered down web based here. This bad boy runs Android. So this is the startup sequence. I don't, I'm not sure, we're not gonna set up this phone on camera right now. This is just basically an unboxing and first impressions, and I wanted to give you guys a little bit of specs talking about this phone in general. So funny enough, typing on this, is not that terrible. It's very small as the real estate of this screen is super tiny, but it really does feel like typing on an iPhone for me. So we're gonna put this guy off to the side for a second. Chances are at this point, you've already seen a couple of the reviews of the Palm phone. And the one thing you might be concerned about is battery life. From what I've heard, 
battery is anything but on par with what it should be. And while it only takes 50 to 60 minutes to charge the 500 milliamp hour battery, I also heard that it drains rather fast. Especially if you use this little companion phone as, well, for lack of better words, a real phone. But again, this is just a first impressions video and I wanted to address that I have heard this and chances are you have too. I'll definitely be reviewing it and checking the battery life of this phone in a future video. There I'll be outlining my experiences and my opinions about it. But with that aside, Palm actually sent me something else. Palm sent me a Movi battery juice pack case. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna open this guy up, throw the phone inside, and um, I'll, I'll just give you my first impressions on this as well. So all the information on the outside of this box says that the case is actually 900 milliamp hours, and it's said to deliver 13 hours of extra battery life. Oh my goodness, it's so cute does not come charged, which is totally okay. It is it is fairly light for a, a battery, a battery pack. Um, I don't know what I was really expecting, but all this is for a case is a little plastic insert where it has a USB-C on the inside. You plug your phone in, clip the top, and you are, you are protected. I assume as your phone gets low, you can hit this little black button on the back, instantly charging your phone while it's still in your pocket. All we do is snap off the top, slide the phone in, and then clip it on. It does add a little bit more dimensions to the phone, but it still feels like a child phone. I love it. The other super nice thing about this case, you can wirelessly charge your phone. So this little guy is actually the first phone that I've ever owned that has face detection security. So I'm pretty excited to test that out alongside the 12 megapixel rear facing camera and the eight megapixel front facing camera. I think even more shocking is that this little smartphone is juiced up with an Octavius Core Qualcomm 435 processor. I read that, I don't know what it means. Well, I know a little bit. It means that there's eight cores of GPU in this phone. And while I'd like to see this phone have a little bit more RAM, as it only has three gigabytes, it definitely still packs a punch in the spec department. Okay, so like I mentioned earlier, this phone actually runs on Android 8.1. So that means that all the apps available on the Google Play Store are available to download and use. The phone is both waterproof and dustproof with a resistance rating of IP68. On paper and even in hand, this pint-sized phone is a powerhouse. I can honestly say that I am super excited to use this phone as a companion device and quite possibly as a standalone phone. My first impression of the phone in hand is that it has a superior build quality, on par with the superior quality we know and love from phones like iPhone and Samsung devices. It's not cheaply made and it shows. One of the phone's main focal features is what Palm calls life mode. That's that little palm tree right there. Like I mentioned earlier, as somebody it's connected to their phone nearly 24 hours a day, the life mode feature allows one to be more present in a moment by disabling notifications. So essentially what you're doing by turning on life mode is turning on airplane mode. Once the screen is powered back on, airplane mode is then turned off and all the notifications are synced for retrieval. It's brilliant, really. You can buy this Palm phone right now from palm.com for $299. When you purchase from the website, you'll get an unlocked phone. There you can look at plans and pick what one best fits your needs. You can also just use this phone as a companion device through Bluetooth. And with that being said, I am super excited to start doing so. I am a sucker for tech. And as much as I love when phones were getting really big, it's nice to see a company take a stand and put out something so unique and so small, yet so powerful. Again, thank you, Palm, for sending me this phone. I look forward to checking it out more, reviewing it on the channel. If you guys are interested in that video, be sure you smash subscribe and ring that notification bell so you don't miss it. And while you're at it, check out another video. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.